Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, big uh, triangle uh, ABC that consists of these uh, two triangles. The blue triangle uh, ABD and the green shaded uh, triangle uh, ACD. As you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, in this uh, blue triangle, uh, its side lengths are uh, 2, 3 and 4 units uh, respectively. And moreover, uh, this uh, side uh, CD length uh, is uh, 6 units. And now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded uh, triangle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We know this segment uh, BD length is 2 units whereas uh, this segment CD length is uh, 6. So therefore this whole BC length has got to be 2 plus 6 is going to make uh, 8 units. And now let's focus on this uh, side uh, AC. Its length is uh, unknown and I'm going to represent its uh, side length uh, as uh, X and now we are going to find the value of X before we could calculate uh, the area of this uh, green shaded uh, triangle. And now let's focus on these uh, two triangles, this uh, blue triangle uh, ABD and this uh, other big triangle uh, ABC. And here we can see this angle is in common for both of these triangles. So I'm going to label this one as our angle uh, alpha. And now let's focus once again on this uh, blue triangle uh, ABD. We can see that this uh, angle alpha is being subtended uh, by these uh, two side lengths uh, AB and BD. And for uh, this uh, big uh, triangle uh, ABC, this angle alpha is being subtended by this side uh, AB and this uh, whole side BC. So therefore we could see the ratio of uh, 2 and 4 is going to be 1 to 2. And for this uh, big triangle uh, ABC, the ratio of uh, 4 and this side 8 is going to be 1 to 2 as well. And since uh, these uh, ratios 1 to 2 are uh, similar, so therefore we conclude that these uh, two triangles, this blue triangle uh, ABD and this uh, big triangle ABC are our uh, similar triangles. And since uh, these two triangles are uh, similar, so we are going to have a proportion. In other words, the ratio of these uh, side lengths uh, AC and AB is going to be equal to the side lengths AD and BD. And now we can see our this uh, AC length uh, is being represented by X. So I'm going to replace that one with X over here. And now our uh, AB side length uh, is uh, 4 units. So I'm going to replace that one with 4 over here. And now our uh, AD, this uh, segment length uh, is uh, 3. So I'm going to replace that one 3 over here. And finally, this uh, BD segment length uh, is this one, which is 2. So I'm going to substitute 2 over here. So therefore, we are ended up with uh, X divided by 4 is going to be equal to, we can write uh, 3 divided by 2. And now I'm going to multiply both sides by 4 to isolate uh, X. And here we can see 4 and 4 is gone. So therefore, our X value turns out to be equal to 6 units. So therefore, our this side AC length, which is X turns out to be 6. And now we are going to focus on this green shaded triangle ACD. And we can see that this is an isosceles triangle since this side length uh, is uh, 6 and this side length uh, is uh, 6 as well. And in this uh, next step, I have dropped this uh, perpendicular uh, CE on this uh, side uh, AD. 
and now since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, green shaded triangle and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area is always equal to a half times base times the height of the triangle and in our case uh, the base uh, of this uh, green triangle is uh, three units and uh, c e is the height uh, of this uh, triangle i'm going to label this height uh, as uh, lowercase uh, h and now our task is uh, to find the value of this uh, height uh, h and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, isosceles triangle uh, a c d has uh, this perpendicular uh, c e so therefore uh, this segment uh, a e length has got to be equal to this uh, d e length and we know this whole uh, a d length is uh, three units so therefore uh, this segment uh, a e length has got to be half of that one is going to be three divided by two and likewise this uh, segment length is going to be three divided by two as well and now we are going to focus on this uh, right triangle uh, a e c and we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle to find the value of this height h and here is our uh, Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case our hypotenuse is uh, 6 whereas our two other legs are uh, lowercase h and 3 divided by 2 let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula so we got uh, h square plus uh, 3 divided by 2 square equal to 6 uh, square let's simplify we got uh, h square plus uh, 9 divided by 4 equal to 36 and now i'm going to move this uh, 9 divided by 4 on the other side so therefore when we move this 9 divided by 4 on the other side this is going to become h square equal to 36 uh, minus uh, 9 divided by 4 and if we subtract uh, this quantity on the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 135 divided by 4 isn't it so therefore we could write uh, h square equals to 135 divided by 4 and now we know that 135 could be written as uh, 9 times uh, 15 so therefore we could write uh, h square equal to 9 divided by 4 times 15 and now i'm going to undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides and here we can see this square and square root is gone so therefore our height uh, h is going to be equal to this 9 divided by 4 when we take the square root that is going to give us uh, 3 divided by 2 times uh, the square root of uh, 15 so thus the height uh, h of this uh, green triangle turns out to be 3 times uh, square root of 15 divided by 2 and here is our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded triangle uh, ACD and now let's recall once again the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times base times the height of the triangle and in our case uh, the base of this uh, green shaded triangle is three units and the height uh, h is three times square root of 15 divided by 2 so therefore uh, the area of this green shaded triangle is going to be a half times our base is uh, three and our height is three times uh, square root of 15 divided by 2 so that could be written as uh, 9 uh, times uh, square root of 15 all over 4 square uh, units the area of this green shaded triangle so thus after all the calculations and manipulations the area of this uh, green shaded triangle turns out to be 9 times square root of 15 divided by 4 square units and that's going to be approximately equal to 8.714 square units as well and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye